or Harley Quinn was part of. Two of them ended up going green, one of them went red. <laughs> Yesterday, Bisley was telling me, oh, I'm, I'm not going to do anything but Lobo. That's right. I knew this morning he was telling John, I'm going to just draw Judge Dredd in six minutes, I'll be gone. I'm like, I'm right there. Usually, I'm like, I'm trying to find him to do Batman do that. <laughs> so, you guys need to tell us what you want to see drawn. Character, character. We hear a lot of Batman. We hear a lot of Batman. Anything other than Batman? The tick. I think Batman. How's Batman for you? Make the logo. Not Batman. Batman. Yeah, a, a, a version of Batman. What what do we want Batman to, to be? Do, uh, you know, Just a headshot. Just a headshot. Just a headshot. Bat, Batman is uh, Batman in Star Wars. Logo is Batman. Spock. Or Batman has Logo. Oh, you've done you've done Logo work too, right? Batman is Lobo. Or Lobo is Batman. Huh? Yoda? Yoda Batman. Yoda Batman. Yoda. I, a Batman Yoda. Does that work? Batman Yoda. So these guys are going to get started. Uh, if we could go ahead and switch this one over to the... Uh, Who's Yoda? Yoda? Okay, Sammy Yoda. These things heating up or do we need to switch them on? So you're drawing Yoda as Batman. What do you want to do? Spock Batman. He's decided I'm going to do another guy with funny ears as Batman. <laughs> so a guy with funny ears is Batman. Now, as these guys get started, uh, I should re reintroduce myself. My name is Moises. I host a, a comics podcast called Giant Size with my friend John Bolson here. Hello. John finally gets to say something. Poor John. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna ask these guys some questions. Uh, we're gonna let them draw a little bit, distract them a little bit. Uh, these guys are are, uh, are good and quick, so this thing may go relatively quickly. If there are those of you in the audience who'd like to ask questions, we got mics out there. Let's see what we got. I gotta say, uh, I'm a little bit team busy because of uh, the track connection. How dare you? So how dare you? Drew? How dare you? Check our track mind again. Mike Mike goes devastated. He's gonna leave. You're a Star Wars guy. All right, so uh, Simon, Mike, both of you have microphones. We're gonna, we're gonna. Oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're you're up there on that big screen. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there are children in the audience, Simon. Are you serving this? Is what you're doing. Don't be like this man, children. Learn your lesson. Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, Mike, Mike, Mike's already done. <laughs> Simon is talking a big game. Oh, I'm going to be done. I'm going to leave. Mike's already finished. So to, to start off with, this is something that I like asking uh, to start these sketch tours off. Not the first comic that you read, but do the two of you recall the comic that was the point of no return, that you were going to be a comic fan for life? I know there are people in this audience that maybe, maybe it was a Justice League book, like some of the stuff that Mike's worked on recently. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe it was one of the probably surprised I even know what those are. Mike, son, whichever of the two of you I can distract first. <laughs> ABC Warriors, you said? ABC Warriors, son, business. Tell what was it for you? <laughs> what, uh, what comic uh, was it your point of no return? Made you a comic fan? I'll make you some tender the whole genre. Spider-Man. So tell me about Frank Frazetta. Uh, Frank Frazetta, yeah, he was, he was a huge influence on me. Have you ever seen uh, Frazetta in person? You know that I'm going to answer that question. Trying to draw. Oh. <laughs> he, he's almost done, man. <laughs> Just checking this. There we go. 
one of us. <laughs> well, then you, you draw. Finish drawing, and we'll talk to you. So, uh, uh, so ABC Warriors. I'm actually not familiar with ABC Warriors. And, well, and, and as well you should be. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm bringing up all the stuff that nobody in the United States has read. What, what is, what's ABC Warriors, Mike, since, uh, since Simon uh, can't talk right now? I was being facetious. Oh, you're being facetious. Simon was drinking last night. Speed lies. Showing the true honor that a child had influence again. Yeah, hey, rest in peace, Wolverine. Let's hear it for Wolverine. Poor Wolverine. Poor Wolverine. Poor Wolverine. We're getting a true we're getting tribute art from Simon Bisley, our, our dearly departed, the much beloved, the one and only Wolverine. <laughs> That was part of the original uh, John Romita senior costume design, actually. Yeah. It was Cockrum who changed it later. Yeah. Deadpool! No. <laughs> Deadpool, Deadpool! No. <laughs> Enough with Deadpool. Deadpool is a cat. Yeah, all right. Deadpool is a mouse. Deadpool is a princess. Deadpool is a cat chasing a mouse. No, it's been done. It's all been done. I think Marvel has 17 Deadpool books now. Deadpool's the new Wolverine. Put him in everything. <laughs> now we need love. Oh, yeah. Torquemada. is the, that's the first time anybody's requested. They, they, that's, in any of these sketch that's, that's very specific. specific. Torquemada! There seems to be more love of the character there than, say, 
Yeah, we'll say Wolverine. <laughs> Boom. Another one for Mike. Let's get started. Or Joker is the Emperor? Come on. Think about it before you open your mouth. Oh, Bisley's like, yeah, done with Lobo. I like that one better. Here I go. <laughs> yes, I, I do remember the backstory of that one video game. No, I don't. <laughs> what else? Charlie Sheen. Sheen. Charlie Sheen. I, I, I don't know if there's, a, if there's a canonical character design for that. Charlie Sheen is Superman. Charlie Sheen is Charlie Sheen. That's, that's giving you a bit too much credit. Superman is Elvis. Elvis Superman? Frozen is a movie, not a person. Elsa. Everybody, okay. Everybody from the movie. No. Elvis is Superman. Ignore them. They're just trying to throw you off. Busily staring through you. Take off your shirt. Take off your shirt. Wait a minute. What's guys happening? Obviously, the problem is that I didn't do my job well enough that you guys think this is something that's going to turn into a strip show. Emo Peter Parker. So, every day, Peter Parker. Artist choice. Yeah, artist choice. Artist choice. 
They've been rigidly <laughs> delivering these requests to the utmost of their ability, so <laughs> artist choice for the next one. So he's doing a puppy. An elephant. <laughs> a Bisley font. <laughs> Draw a Dallas cop. We don't need that kind of trouble in here, man. We don't need no 5 0. My Little Lobo. Death Dealer Riding My Little Pony. That's Death Dealer Riding My Little Pony. <laughs> Actually, I really want to see that. That's the only My Little Pony art that, ever, that has ever interested me. Death Dealer Riding My Little Pony. Look at this puppy. It's pretty. Look at this dog, man. Who's going to adopt this dog right now today? This homeless dog. Little Bob Barker asked you to make sure to spay and neuter here. <laughs> my little Beasley, my little Beasley. <laughs> Smoking a cigar and killing things. <laughs> We just, we, just, we just came up with Simon Bisley's new oh, eight year old IP. I noticed that McCone's puppy is wearing the uh, French Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a, I don't know how to pronounce that in American English. Because uh, there are kids here. Hey, kids. It's a nice hat. It's a, it's a French Christmas tree. <laughs> That's, it is a French Christmas tree hat. I, <laughs> it's a very fancy hat for gentlemen. It's, it's a European thing. That's why John and I don't understand. We could all use a hat like this. It's just yeah. a, it's a, it's a specialized hat. That is a special moment. Yeah. A special, usually in private. A special a hat for special occasions. I'm wearing mine right now. <laughs> <laughs> Descended in the sort of chaos that uh, that some people dream of and some people have nightmares about for the rest of their lives. I'll go, hey kids, <laughs> nightmares for life. Now what's now what's Mike gonna jump into? I would say that's a medieval knight. Well, medieval Iron Man. Iron Age Man. Yeah. Iron, Iron Age Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh -oh. Superman. <laughs> Black Panther's one of my favorite Marvel characters, no joke. Who else is a fan of T'Challa and T'Chaka and Wakanda and his sister Shuri? See, I really do know Black Panther, not just making it up. Oh, yeah, I still like the cartoon. I remember that from the Iron Wars. Yeah. Special French hat, Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Metallurgically, there, there were only so many shapes that you could, uh, that you could pull off uh, in the Iron Age. I'm going to go historical. Uh, my God, what have we done? Just kept talking. <laughs> Boxing Black Panther. Nick Fury without the eye patch. So just some white guy. You know, there's a close up drawing of it, just doing like a big black circle, like a hole, like right there. Yeah, focus, you know, a real detailed picture of, uh, of Nick Fury's eye patch. Yeah, just some white guy, man. There, there aren't enough of those. <laughs> <laughs> that Iron Man can actually team up with Nick Fury in a very interesting way. Um, I, uh, I was, I was going to go with uh, how interesting it is that uh, Nick Fury without the eye patch looks so much like Cable. I, you know, I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> this is this uh, David Hasselhoff 
the carrier is Samuel L. Jackson. What I love about McCone right now is the commitment to the gag. Like, there's no reason for him to have to draw the tiny screws up there, but he's a <laughs> consummate professional and is out of the, uh, that's... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a jam piece. Here, trade. Oh, wait, no, yours is just a jam piece. It's, uh... <laughs> Again, in earlier technological ages, ladies and gentlemen, Iron Man had to resort to more analog methods of activation, we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, made, we're just about done here. One last uh, quick Ooh. little thing. I heard help with something. Female juggernaut. Female juggernaut? That, <laughs> for some reason, both of these guys immediately had an idea. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> This is like a WWE match with man. <laughs> Everybody's jumping up to the top row. And... No, no, no. <laughs> All right, we've got a box of tickets. I don't know why you ended up picking Yeah, we got we got it for the whole crowd, everybody. All right. Personalizing with people here. It's uh. Twenty dollars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Check your tickets, everybody. Three two six. Three. Eight six four eight. Who is it? Come on up here. Could you just? They're send not going to bring it to you. It may have just been Ric Flair. It's not a delivery. <laughs> and it's at six forty eight. Who is it? I guess whoever it was got really excited that a number was called out. <laughs> All right. Um, and in 784. Hey, hey. Come on, hurry up. Hey. Hurry up. If you beat uh, 